Alan Mike Sarno will be staying put in prison, according to a ruling by the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals, finding that Sarno headed a lucrative and violent criminal enterprise for years and would reassume his outfit post even from a wheelchair if released. Sarno's attorney says authorities still have a Hollywood view of the Chicago mob, even as Hollywood is apparently interested in his life story. Sarno was already married to the mob on his own wedding day more than three decades ago. He worked his way up to become a powerful suburban street boss for the outfit, and then the federal hammer dropped, hit with a 25-year sentence in 2012 for racketeering in a suburban burglary and theft caper. When the hoodlum's health took a bad turn a few years ago, he was moved here to the U.S. Bureau of Prisons Medical Facility in Springfield, Missouri, where he remains in a long-term nursing wing to this day. Sarno's request for compassionate release because of rapidly failing health and the risk of prison COVID has now been denied in this appellate decision, citing Sarno's long career entrenched in organized crime and its street crews long before his conviction in this case. I think that the government, the district court, and the appellate court still has this belief that there's a mafia out there and that it's like you see in the movies. And, you know, they wrote in their opinion that uh, Mike could still uh, do what he previously did uh, sitting in a wheelchair. And it's something that, you know, Hollywood is dramatized and it's, it's not the case anymore. First known as the fat boy and later the large guy, Sarno is now 64 years old and said to be a fraction of his former self in health, size, and muscle. But his attorney tonight says Sarno's story has heavyweight interest from Hollywood. It's a big producer on it, it's a producer who filmed uh, or produced Man on Fire with Denzel Washington. Right now we're in the talks of uh, they want to start with the podcast and then simultaneously write a book and the screenplay. As it appears, Sarno will stay put in prison for the rest of his term. His attorney tonight notes Sarno wasn't given a life sentence, but with the way things are going, that may be what he ends up with. As he says, Sarno is just another Italian-American who has fallen victim to the government's racketeering act known as RICO, with far worse criminals, he says, having been released for illnesses and COVID. Judy. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.